CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 186 through 190 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 186 Which of the following port numbers are used by the DHCP protocol for assigning IP addresses to clients? The answer is B, 67 and 68. DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol uses two UDP ports to automate the assignment of IP addresses and network configurations to clients. UDP port 67 is used by the DHCP server to receive requests from clients, while UDP port 68 is used by the DHCP client to receive responses from the server. Question 187. A technician is setting up a new cable internet connection for home office. After mounting the modem, they need to connect it to the incoming coaxial cable from the wall outlet. Which of the following connectors should the technician use? The answer is D. F-type. The F-type connector is a threaded coaxial connector primarily used for cable television, satellite TV, and broadband internet connections. It provides a secure connection by screwing onto the corresponding port ensuring minimal signal loss and reducing the risk of disconnection. It is widely used in residential and commercial settings for transmitting RF signals over coaxial cables. Question 188. A company is expanding its cloud infrastructure and wants to automate the deployment and management of servers, networks, and storage using a predefined configuration instead of manual setups. Which of the following technologies best meets this requirement? The answer is C, IAC. IAC, or Infrastructure as Code, is a method of managing and provisioning IT infrastructure through machine-readable scripts or configuration files, rather than manual processes. It allows for automated, consistent, and repeatable deployments by defining infrastructure and in code, reducing human errors, and improving scalability. Question 189. A company is transitioning to IPv6 but still needs to support legacy IPv4 devices on its network. The network administrator wants a solution that allows both protocols to run simultaneously without additional encapsulation or translation. Which of the following would best meet this requirement? The answer is B. Dual stack. Dual stack is a networking method that enables devices to run both IPv4 and IPv6 at the same time. This allows seamless communication across both protocols without requiring translation or encapsulation, ensuring compatibility with legacy systems while supporting the transition to IPv6. With this method, every capable device will have both an IPv4 and an IPv6 address, allowing it to communicate natively over either protocol. Question 190. A router needs to forward traffic destined for 192.168.1.2. Which of the following route entries will the router select? The answer is D. 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24. When a router has multiple route entries for the same destination, the first decision factor in route selection is the longest prefix length. The longer the prefix length, the more specific the route and the router will always prefer the most specific match. In this case, the available routes are forward slash 16, forward slash 20, forward slash 22, and forward slash 24. Since forward slash 24 has the longest prefix length among them, it is the most specific match for 192.168.1.2 and will be selected for forwarding traffic. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.